What's up, people? Supreme Decisions here, and yes, doing another night video. Well, tonight I'm actually going into something that a lot of us have encountered simply because we talk about constantly how police arrest people without reading their Miranda rights, for one, without probable cause, and generally do it for revenue. Now, the greatest part about this is I've given you several cases that deal with similarities or portions of this issue. Now, I'm gonna be putting everything up over here, right here. And I want you to take it, take into account what it is that I'm speaking about. Well, how about this? I'm talking about wrongful arrest. Most people did not understand or didn't know that you could sue for wrongful arrest. Because I even talked about a police issue, or in this case, a Supreme Court case, which spoke that if a police officer detains someone and without probable cause then arrest them, that detention becomes illegal. Now, one of the things you have to prove in a wrongful arrest case is the simple thing of the willful act, not just a mistake. And you also remember, I gave you a court case that dealt with the ability to sue a police officer in their individual capacity simply by doing a willful act. Well, in this case, is no different because that case goes along with this. And, ready for it? We talk about the loss of qualified immunity. Two reasons they lose qualified immunity. A willful act or blatant ignorance. Now, in doing the lawsuit, the willful act is what's tested. It's that thing, let me get in front of this light. It's that thing that we must take note of because that's our weapon to win. We look for the mistake, but we understand when we're going for the applications and we're looking for those mistakes, we also make sure in the deposition or in any other act, even in questioning, that the officer states he did it because it is on his own or her volition that they wanted to do it. They were doing it with a conscious note. This is also something where I spoke about going through public records where the officer has testified or doing a motion tra to traverse where you're getting copies of police records or that particular officer's records where you're dealing with just their character. So, you can sue for wrongful arrest. That's wild. And in suing for wrongful arrest, there we go. You have the opportunity to, ready? Win just by showing that it's something beyond a mistake. So, Love you guys. Let's keep going. Let's keep growing. And yes, more is coming soon. Supreme, out.